Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today is probably a pretty short video. I'm going to be unboxing and kind of setting up, if you will, my new Ridge Wallet. You might have heard of these guys. And some um, keen-eyed viewers might be wondering, how is this a tech video, Kyle? And um, well, my answer to that is that I first heard about the Ridge Wallet on The WAN Show, which is a tech podcast by a tech channel, Linus Tech Tips. So that's what I'm going with. So got my trusty box cutter here and I'm just gonna open this up. So first of all, I did get the aluminum gunmetal skew of the Ridge Wallet um, because I am not made of money. So in Canada anyway, you've got the aluminum, which is the most basic for $115. I had a little promo code for 10% off, so that's all good. Then you've got kind of the titanium at, I think it's $155. And then you've got um, the carbon fiber at 185, Canadian that is. That's why I think they all end in fives. I'm sure the American pricing is nicer in terms of, you know, the ending digit. Anyway, here we go. Let's crack into this. So this arrived actually last night or yesterday evening, I should say. And now, it's been about 24 hours since it arrived. Had a lot of work to do. So now I'm finally getting around to unboxing this. So, here it is. The wallet, redefined. I'm not sponsored in any way, but uh, check that out. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so that what that one there is like the titanium burnt one. And then I should say I did get the cash strap, not the clip, just because it looked more secure to me. And so this looks like just a little card. What does it say on the inside? That is a very good question. Oh, so there is a sticker. That's pretty cool. And then this is the little getting started guide. That's pretty straightforward. So ridge.com slash start for more. And then in here, we've got the actual wallet. So here it is. This thing is small. Good Lord. Like not only is it thin, but it is just not very big. Cause I guess you've got the card and that's basically because this literally is the size of a credit card because you can see the little insert that it comes with. So as I mentioned, here is the cash strap. So I'll be testing that in a second. And then here is kind of where you just kind of push the cards out. So here's the one currently in here. Wow, look at that. All right, cool. So that is looking good. What else is in here? So we've got, I believe this is a T5 Torx screwdriver. Might be mistaken on that, but that's what I gathered from the website. And then this is additional screws. Okay, this is gonna be handy. Open in case of emergency. Yikes. Hopefully I don't have one of those. And then that is it for the box. So here's the wallet itself. Um, looking pretty good, pretty minimal branding, like that. Um, another logo on the uh, cash strap there. There we go. And this thing, this is like a strong elastic, so that's pretty good. So in the uh, little instruction booklet here, it says, just empty your wallet, keep what you need, and toss the rest. Push out your cards using the cutout and fan them using your opposite hand. Keep your two most used cards at the front and back of the wallet to maximize accessibility. Use the indicated torque screwdriver to make modifications to the wallet, i.e. swap from money clip to cash strap. Okay, because there is an option to get both of them, like you can buy them separately on the website. So, I don't know exactly how you would make that change. I don't have to. Um, but yeah, okay. I see what's going on here. Yeah, so on this side, you've got kind of the um, insert. 
so you can push the cards out and then there's a little elastic so you can't push them out this side and then this this side here you can see it's like slightly sloped inwards so it's easy to insert cards so I have my current wallet right here this is actually a very nice Italian leather wallet from Italy it is very nice but it can get pretty bulky right now it's actually very thin <laughs> because I just cleaned it out of like garbage receipts and crap so I do have some cash this is American money I am not American but this is the only cash I have right now I don't like cash very much which is why this wallet is actually uh, pretty perfect for me so and then I'm just gonna get out some cards that aren't too personally identifying just so we can test this out so here we go here they are and then we'll just kind of grab the stock one that came with it and I've just got a little bundle of cards here let's test this out let's load it up so these should just go in so let's kind of insert these so on the website I believe it says anywhere from 1 to 12 cards so this is four cards you can already see it's a lot thicker than it was but these elastics are uh, putting in that work and then I'll just grab the uh, little bit of cash I have and try sticking that in the cash strap let's give that a whirl so that kind of sticks out a lot but I suppose you could fold it over again if you really wanted to oh hold on it may be possible to fit it in this way this is not perfectly folded okay here we go now we're talking yeah that looks a lot better but still pretty ginormous I don't know about my Canadian dollars once I actually have some Canadian cash on me but that works and I would only be keeping like probably like a 20 on me especially since it is super visible on the back of this wallet now let's try kind of fanning out the cards here let's 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 give that a whirl so it says to fan them out with your opposite hand I don't really understand what they mean by that I gotta be honest okay Kind of like this so the technique kind of from my preliminary testing you just kind of use the um so okay i can't really show it this way but i'll do it here so you just kind of got to grip both sides and then push the cards out and then you can just grab some your fingers from your other hand and pull the bottom card and that'll kind of fan them out somewhat so that works I suppose so that's looking pretty good actually and that is the Ridge Wallet folks so I know wallets are not um, a typical focus of the channel here but I figured I would cover this just because it was an interesting purchase and just a little secret I needed video ideas this week so um, yeah there you go <laughs> hopefully you guys like this uh, short little video and uh, definitely leave some comments down below if you have any questions about the Ridge Wallet I can answer them. I'm not sponsored by Ridge in any way, so I will be brutally honest. And if that's what you want, definitely leave a comment and a like down below. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Next week, we will be hopefully back to regular tech videos, so get subscribed for that. And you can also connect with me on Twitter at KyleGNew.